Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Absolutely, positively, a super good day. February 4th, 2016. We are in Aurora, Illinois, and our plan is today we got to go to Maumeen. We're going to do a drop and hook and uh, take another guy's trailer. We're going to give him my trailer, and then we got to head back up to uh, Wisconsin. I guess he was having light issues or something on his uh, truck, my understanding, and uh, so I gotta I guess he's gonna put his truck in the shop. So I gotta go grab his load. So that's where we're headed now. And uh, I got lucky. I got offloaded yesterday uh, or last night late, but I, I came here to park and they told me I could, but I came here to park and uh, next thing I know they're knocking at my door saying they could offload me right now so it's like okay cool you know so we got our 10 hour break it is currently now 10 19 we did our 10 and took our 15 minute uh, vehicle inspection and now we're we're actually rolling this is a campus according to what uh, the map is showing this is some sort like a campus The only thing, though, I had the train right beside me, so I had to hear this train every, it seemed like every <laughs> 15 minutes, and it's the metro train. It's not the freight train, but it's the metro train, and I, it, it seemed like every 15, 20 minutes I'm hearing that metro train. Oh, we got a gate up here. I wonder if that opens up automatically. I know one thing. I either got to wash my truck today or I got to wash it tomorrow. But it's got to get washed. Get that Minnesota snow off of it, right? Well, let's see if this gate pops up all by itself. Abracadabra. Hey. Not a problem. All right. I just got to figure now really how to get out of here. But anyway, guys, I'm going to keep you guys up. We're going to have ourselves a good day. And uh, thank you for following along with us. All right, guys, we are in Maumeen over here. And we got to go over here to this other drive or the overflow. Because that's where that driver is. And you're going to see a truck just like mine. That's why he's driving a Volvo. And we got to go in here and we got to find this guy. Oh, that might be him right there. I think he just got here. Anyway, I'm going to go over there and we're going to get hooked up. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got to do an inspection on this. Definitely got to do an inspection. He, he said he had no running lights or nothing. So far we got lights. Both muff flaps are there. The brakes are working. Oh, well, they're working up there. Well, my lights are working. Yeah. All right. I gotta weigh this. I don't even know what it is, really. We'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm over here at the Mall Mean Truck Stop, and I'm over here at the uh, what do you call this? The overflow, ain't it? The, the overflow. Yeah. And uh, we bumped into another Mark Court. You remember I said I was doing a drop and hook, and we got our trailer now. But uh, what's your name, sir? Jeremy. Jeremy. Yep. 
Uh, we we do have a few truck drivers, and we got people that are getting into the in industry for the first time. And uh, do you have any good advice to maybe yes. tell them? Uh, safety, safety is number one. Um, don't follow too close. And uh, please, guys, when you pull into the truck stop, if you pull into the fuel island and you're not getting fuel, find a spot to park. Don't clog up the fuel island forever, please. <laughs> there you go. You heard it from you. You've been driving now what? Ten years. Ten you years. Said? Ten years. And uh, he drives a Marquor truck as well. And uh, unfortunately, we're working for the same guy, John. Uh, but uh, uh, now, what do they have you doing now? What, what what what's the plan now? I'm getting ready to go get my lights worked on. My uh, lights on the trailer is, is is they're messed up. Okay. Well, bye, doggy. Thank yep. you so much. And. Uh, nice guy check him out all righty ladies and gentlemen and ages of all ages we just had us a big fat gigantic lunch well okay not that big we only had uh two plates and dessert now we're leaving this place and we have to go to downtown Chicago is one stop. We got to go to the U.S. Postal Service. I actually hate this place because it's uh, really in a screwed up area that you cannot uh, be doing nothing in a big truck. Because one screw up and you could actually hit something that is lower And take the top off of your truck. Guys, remember a post office one time I showed I was actually inside a garage? Yeah, that's where we're going. Milwaukee. John told me it was going to Wisconsin. Yeah, that's what he told me. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. I don't know if you guys are seeing the reflection of my bills, but got my bills up on the uh, dash. But I want to tell you who that other guy was. He he's a driver. Uh, he's uh, with John as well. We're with Marquardt, but I guess what I mean, a division out of Kankakee here. And his name was Jeremy. A nice guy. I, I think that's. Uh, might be the second or third time I, I've uh, I've met him. But seemed like a nice guy and got a good head on his shoulders and and I want to thank Jeremy. I'm gonna give him a shout out. Thank you, Jeremy, for uh, allowing me to put you on video today. Well, anyway, guys, we got to go to downtown Chicago, 422 West Harrison Street. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. So let's get her done, y'all. Let's get her on over there. No need to complain about it, right? Just get the job done, right? I'm over here at this post office, and I was looking at something. Check this out, guys. I just have to show you guys this. Look at there. See what, see what I'm looking at? There's people living on the uh, on the banks of this water. The more tents. Man, what a way to live. The more tents. Yeah. But we are downtown. There's some boats. I don't know what that is exactly. This is downtown. I'm just outside the, uh, well, I am at 
at the post office. I just thought I'd show that. Alrighty, we're empty here. Now we gotta go 10 miles, according to Rhonda, to uh, Forest Park. If I can just get all the, these cars out of my way. There we go. Now it's gonna be real fun trying to get out of here. Not out of the post office, I mean out of town. Because everything is, uh, messed up. <laughs> really, really messed up. I know you guys didn't see the guy, but he weighed me on. I know you saw a stop sign there, but he just weighed me on. It's the post office stop sign. Oh, you're talking about tight. I hope I can get around him. Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem. We just decided to drive through a post office. Oh, he's got, yep, they have a traffic light here. Yep, we can't run that, no matter what. Still got a green light. Yep, and that's where we came from, to the left. Sun. Sun and dirty windows just don't go together. I'm going to hit that curb. Oh boy. There we go. I did hit that curb. I'm going to hit it again. Dang it. No.
All right, we're just down the road. And you gotta find where it's located. And we are at the post office. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on our way to stop number three. Elk Grove Village. That's where we're going right now. So I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, we are two and a half miles to our delivery. And I'm behind Mr. Slowpoke here because I can't pass my my exit. We are at stop number three. We're just knocking them off left and right. Yep, I've been here before. Oh, yeah. Sure have. All right, we're done with stop number three. On the way to the last drop. We got to go to Oak Grove, Wisconsin. We are 74 miles. We'll be there right before 9 nine o'clock so then John should go to bed after he doesn't have me a load yet so more likely we won't have one till tomorrow so he said go to bed so that's what we're gonna do find a place up there after we're empty go to bed not really sure which way she wants me to go here okay Go right. Actually, do I want to do that? It says go right, but yeah, that's what she's saying. Go right. So, so what we'll do. If I go left, I come back the way I come, and I can actually get on the toe. I think we're going to go left. I want to jump on the toe. I want to get over there. Yeah, I'm going to be smarter than Rhonda right now. I did forget how slow this light was. Anyway, let's head on up to Oak Grove. Well, guys, we decided. <laughs> Come on, Jake. Oh, we got only one more drop we got to do, and that's Oak Grove. I pulled into this Thornton's and uh, kind of figured it was a bad idea to do this, right? I took the dogs out, took Jake and Pooh out, and uh, now I'm tired, so. I called John and I said, John, really like to deliver this tomorrow morning. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just tired, you know, and we got a place here to park. We got a truck here. This is not like a truck stop, truck stop, but they do have truck fuel and truck parking. So, you know, and they do have truck parking here. So I think it's just a good place to just came to hang out render my video and go to bed wake up make my delivery you know hi poo you want to say hi you want to say hi to everybody say hi say hi Shh. hey say hi say hi Shh. you're not going to say hi poo bear poo say hi ow <coughs> There you go. There you go. <laughs> anyway, 
I know there ain't much on the dogs today. It was mainly just me driving, but uh, we'll make that up. We'll we'll make a segment just on Pooh Bear and Jake for you guys. I know some of you guys are subscribed because you like dogs and you like Pooh and Jake. And yeah, they are good boys. They are very good boys. Yeah, they tolerate me. Yeah, they tolerate me. You know. But anyway, we're out of here. We're gonna go. We gotta render this video so you guys can watch something tomorrow. So, if you're not subscribed to the Trucker Jukebox, Pooh Bear and the Jake Break Show, we invite you to come and check us out. And if you like what you're seeing, uh, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like the video, please share it. I want to give a, a big thanks to uh, Jeremy. Uh, he also drives for Marquardt. And he pulls uh, for John. And uh, I want to thank him for allowing me to uh, get the camera out and... Uh, and get him on camera so uh, Jeremy I hope I catch you later uh, again he's a real nice guy very knowledgeable he's been driving for 10 years so he's got a head on each other but with that being said we're out of here we'll see you guys come 4 a.m. tomorrow morning with that being said God bless good night you guys have a good night later Cool.